Hey everyone, I just, uh, I'm working on this, uh, Crompton Greaves for the museum for Dan Newman, as you know, Dan Spiffy Newman on YouTube here, and I just wanted to show this fan complete. What I had to do basically was, uh, make a switch cap for it, if I can zoom up close to it, and, uh, I cut out a piece of sheet metal. Yeah, the switch housing was broke, so I glued that back together, and... But that switch housing, there's wires to it to make this fan light kit adaptable. So... We're gonna start with zero to high. I'm gonna test it just to see what this thing does. 0.89 was the inrush, and it dropped to 0.82, and it's... It's gonna drop some more as it speeds up here. And this thing does also move a lot of air. Oh yeah. And the, and the draw is uh, 0.78. It's 0.78 on high, so uh, this is what our current draw is. I'm going to go back here. Oh, yeah. This might be, uh, could be touching gold line, maybe. I don't know if this is quite gold line, but it's, it's a lot of air. This thing really moves. Go underneath. Yeah, this thing is quite strong. It's definitely high end of K55, so as far as I can tell, and it might be just pushing its way to gold line. I can really feel it from here. Okay, time for spin down. Cool. And you can see in the background there, the little fan behind is the uh, the little 36 inch coat up, four blade curved blade. Okay, long spin down. Jeez. Yeah. But I definitely like Crompton Greaves. I also do. I also have currently uh, an ornate version, an ornate bottom of this. I have another fan like this that's ornate. And I'll probably put that one back up because I really like these. And I also have a 48-inch white one that I'm going to repaint and restore. I'm going to probably paint it off white like it was. Just because I want to have something nice. And I'll even do the lines on it of the motor housing with a striping brush. Because I do want to restore one of those. And I have one to restore. Yeah, it's it's a good fan. It's got long, it's got good bearings. I don't hear bearing noise, and it's yeah. 
It's... Yeah, so it's got good bearings. It's definitely long spin down, steel on steel. Okay, well, let's do the decade box. One, two, three. It's start on three. Yeah, it is going. It's going. It's going. It's not going to stall. Well, I have here, let me just... Uh, Take the camera off the stand again. Here's the test rig. And I got a decade box that goes from 1 to 10 microfarads. And then I have a switch with uh, two capacitors in it. One to add 10 microfarads to the decade. And another to add 20. So if I turn on the 10, that would be 13 microfarads with it on 3. Right there. So, And then over here I have a variable speed. I have a switch to go from capacitor system to the variable speed, so when I do variable speed control to see what that does, I switch it. Okay, so that's 3, and it's drawing 0.13. As you saw, so I have the uh, ammeter, it's drawing 0.13 amps. We're measuring the current draw. So, this helps me determine what kind of wall control I can use with this fan. Because I deal a lot in this place with wall controls and my bedroom too, so if I'm going to put a fan that I like up there, I need to know what wall control I can use and what I don't want to use. Okay, 0.19 on 4. Here's 5 with 0.23. It's flopping between 0.23 and 0.24. This is definitely a nice low speed. So I would, I would go with the standard, probably a 5, 8, 13, which is a 4-speed. 6.28, or a 6, 8, 14 maybe. I have one of those, too. 0.28 is where it's uh, at. 7, with 0.33, 8. Point three, uh, point three eight. So this would be like a low medium. Or if you want to use an eight twelve twenty, you you might be able to, but I'm not sure. I'll have to see what twenty does. If it's too close to high, or if it goes over. Yeah, this already looks a little fast for low on eight twelve twenty, but this is a good low medium. Nine with point four two. 10.46. I'm going to go to 11. I added 10 plus 1, turned it back to 1, and I got 0 0.52. 12. 0.56. And here's 13 with 0.59. So this is a really good high medium. Right here I've used, and it's drawing 0.59. 14, if I used a 6814. 0.62, this also would be acceptable. Because I can see if I, uh, let's see, let's go up to 20. Here's 15. 0.64. 65, I think it's going to stay. I'm going to point six, uh, 16, I'm at point six seven. 17 points, yeah, it's flopping around. Point six eight and point six nine. I think it's, I'm going to go with point six nine. 18 point seven one, 19 point seven two, 20. 0.74 Still a little bit of a difference, but on 20 it's not much of a difference. So what I'm going to do is at 23, 25, let's, I'm already at 0.78 if I hit high. 
0.77 on 25. Let's just see. Oh, I just start to creep over on. I'm right on the money at uh, 28. And if I go to 29, I just start to go over at, at 29. So you're safe with any wall control, but you're not. But 8, 12, 20, I think it's just too fast. And the, and the high medium with the 20 microfarads is just too close to high. In my opinion, it's just not enough of a difference. So time to do the solid state variable speed control. I'm just inching it up. Okay, it started at 0 0.2, 0 0.26, inched it up a little. I hear a little buzz, but it's pretty quiet. 0.31. Point three six. It's getting a little bit noisy. I mean, I could accept this in the living room. Maybe not in the bedroom, but might be a little bit too noisy for that. But it's it's borderline. But if I were to run it faster when it starts whipping air, then I won't hear the buzz as much. That's not too bad. 0 0.41. 0 0.5. 0 0.58. 0 0.65. Point six six, point seven two, and uh, point seven eight. Uh, it's dropped at point seven seven, so very close with the solid state. Basically, almost the same as straight high, by a nose hair. So this is it is good on a solid state, but. Overall, I'm definitely, this is a fan I like to have. Well, I do have one that I'm going to restore. And I'll show it again once I get it restored. Other than that, that is all I have for this uh, brown Crompton Greaves with uh, switch, switch housing on it and switch cap. So this will be at the Fanimation uh, Museum soon. And I'll see, you, I'll see you guys there if you guys ever go. And uh, when we have the group trips, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.